So, welcome to Latin One! Latin One! Alright, one of the first things we're going to start doing is actually this stuff. Now, hopefully, some of this sounds a little bit familiar because your students were supposed to have taught you the first night of class. Maybe? No? And that's the last time we talked about it. And that's the last time we talked about it. No, so these are, um, they are where are your keys techniques, yes. which is uh, it's something I learned over the summer, and it's a way of communicating in class without having to be like, I have a question, or I don't understand, or could you speak louder, or why is that girl chewing her gum so loud? <laughs> right, so that's actually been an issue <laughs> before. So people use this uh, to take care of it. So we're not going to do all of these tonight, right, but we're going to do a couple. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do copycat. All right, so put your hand up like a wall. Make so your hand into, hand? No. Okay. Whichever one is more comfortable for you. Make your hand into a cat. And the cat takes treats out of your hand. This is what we call copy cat. So when I do this, you have to copy exactly what I say and do. So for example, if I go one, 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 sorry, two, 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 two. Red, 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 blue, blue. <laughs> that's exactly what this is for. This is copy cat. So whatever I do, you copy. And sometimes I like to mess with the kids because <laughs> you know why not? So sometimes I tell them, for example, stand up. <laughs> and then I'll just have them copy me, and so I'll stand on one foot, pretend to be Superman, <laughs> jump to the other foot, pretend to be a fountain, <laughs> and we'll do that until I see that they have stuck, but usually they don't, so you may sit. Uh, but that's, copycat is so that when we're doing things, a lot of the time we're going to be using sign language, uh, not only to communicate, but because it's cool. <laughs> and it will actually, believe it or not, help you retain the material. Um, which seems, at least to me, counterintuitive because you're learning two things at once. But it helps. Don't know why. Fun times. All right, so, the next one that we're going to talk about is full. Alright, so, if you eat too much, if you eat too much, you puke. <laughs> if you learn too much, come on in. Your brain pukes. Brain yeah. And it's wet, and it's smelly, and it's gross, and you have to clean it up. All right, so call full before you get full. Hi. Hi. You are? We see us. Hi. Yes. He called me about you today. Yes, that's very exciting. So, uh, Lisa, this is John, John. and John. Laura, Hi, and Michael. Hi, Laura, and Michael. Hi. So we are learning uh, some techniques to communicate in the classroom. Okay. So we haven't we haven't done like Latin Latin yet. Okay. Okay. All right. So what full is all about is sometimes this is what we call the effective filter, right? So let's say, for example, let's say that I'm not real full, but then I didn't get a good night's sleep, and then somebody ran into my car, <laughs> and then I couldn't find my keys. Right? So, the effective filter is how ready and able you are to learn at that moment. Right? So, the fuller you are, the more you're like, I just can't take anything else right now, Miss Marple. Okay? Let it go. By the way, please feel free to call me Natasha. I refer to myself as Miss Marple all the time because that's them. <laughs> all right? But I don't do it on purpose. But um, let's say maybe I just had a snack and I took a nap. And, you know, my favorite person in the world just walked in the door, right? Very ready to learn and able and everything. So this is what we call full. And sometimes I will do full checks. So what that means is I would like you to show me how full you are. So full check. How full are you? Don't know. Just fine. All right, so keep your hand out where you are and look around, all right? Because this isn't just for me. This is for all of you as well, right? Because people have what we call full tells. It's like in poker, right? Some people shift their eyes and everything. When you're full, some people swamp back in their seat. Right? Maybe lean on one hand. They might just look really angry, like they want to kill me, which happens. <laughs> right? Or if they're really, really empty, they might be sitting up straight. They might be smiling. They might be waving at the cute girl across the room. Right? <clears throat> Maybe not paying attention, but they're not full. Right? And so that's what we talk about. So show me copycat, Good. which just means do what I do, say what I say. Show me how full you are. 
the next one, I don't understand. <laughs> Anytime you don't understand something, you do this. And let's say that John's like, I don't get it. As soon as he starts doing it, everybody's got to do it. Oh, everyone has to do it? Has to do it. We're doing, when you go right hand, we do right hand. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever's more confused. comfortable. That's yeah. confusing. Alright. Whatever's more comfortable. If you want to mirror me, that's fine. Okay. I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, Michael, I'm not wrong hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so for I don't understand, the reason we do this is two reasons. Number one, uh, when one person does it, everybody else has to do it, which actually makes it feel more supportive and you don't feel mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you're so I'm the dummy. Down, yeah. I'm the dummy. Right? And this is what we do in class, and the kids really embrace it. I find them asking a lot more questions, mm -hmm. being a lot more willing to speak up, because they're like, it's not, mm -hmm. everybody's watching me. Right? Instead, everybody goes, I'm with you! We will get your question answered! Right? And sometimes kids are like, this one, come on! The other reason we do it is if my back is turned, right? I can't hear this. I can hear this. Right? And that, there's a problem. What's the question, right? And it makes it easier for me to be like, oh, okay, I understand. Well, let's fix this. Right? So, let's see. Um, then we have distraction. If something is distracting you, um, we probably won't need that as much in this class, but your students, uh, not yours because you don't have one in my class, but your students <laughs> use it uh, kind of a lot. Like if somebody is chewing gum during an exam, <laughs> right? Or if somebody's fiddling or clicking the pen, or the door's open and the lunch bell is ringing and they're changing in the hallway. Right? So, show me distraction. All you do is you just point to whatever's distracting you, right? And as soon as one person does it, everybody does it. Which means, let's say that Sarah, who sits there, is sitting behind you and she hears you clicking the pen and it's really distracting her. She can sit behind you and do this and you can't see her. But Lizzie across the room, can see and go, oh, somebody finds you distracting. Right? <laughs> and for the kids, what that means is, oh, okay, I'll stop. And it's not like, will you please stop that <laughs> now? It's just, oh, someone has acknowledged this is bothering me. Right? And it's, it's great because usually what happens uh, once I get the hang of it is I'll turn around and I'll just see the tail of it, which means something has gone on and taking care of okay. itself. Come on in. All right. Let's just sit. Anyway. Over here behind everybody else. Bill and is it? This is Virginia. Virginia, hi. hi. Nice to meet you too. So <clears throat> that is distraction for something that is distracting you. Right, is that so. Oh, okay? So we skipped. A, we did. Okay. Uh, we're only doing I was just going to say, is that Latin for distraction? <laughs> that is not yes. So never mind. Latin for distraction <laughs> is distraction. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. So ladies and gentlemen, show me cough cap, which is. When I do this, you do what I do, you say what I say. I am the queen. Okay. <laughs> Show me queen. full. That's how full you are. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so full, I can't learn anymore. Versus, I'm empty, let's learn more. <laughs> right? So just show me how full you are. How full are you two right now? How much can you learn right now? Like, oh, not a lot, I'm done. Or, um, hey, kind of a lot. Ooh, all right. <laughs> She's like, I'm empty, I'm ready. <laughs> all right. Let's see, I don't understand. Show me I don't understand. Wait. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Right? And so this is just, for example, whenever one person does it, everybody has to do it. All right? So it's kind of a, we are all together because someone doesn't understand. And then if I have my back turned, I can hear it. As opposed to, <laughs> my hand's been up for seven minutes. Awesome. <laughs> this is great. Oh. Right? <clears throat> and then we have distraction. If something is distracting you, right? That way, I can take care of it, or someone else can take care of it. And then we have the kids' favorite, Mirabile! Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, ready? This is where you copy. Ready? Mirabile! Mirabile! So, we use this in two times, two different times. If you make a mistake, and you're like, oh man. Right? Usually when you make a mistake, your face kind of scrunches up, and then the back of your neck scrunches up. Your shoulders scrunch up, your arms come in, and it sends to your brain, Run! Run! Get out of here! Run! Go! Right? But instead, if you smile, and you're really goofy, and you do the Latin wave, and you sing Mirabile, right? 
it makes your shoulders go back, it makes your face kind of relax, and it's just like, oh, hey, haha, <laughs> mistakes happen, hey, right? Not a huge deal. So we use it for mistakes, and you will see, I make a lot of mistakes. It happens all the time, because I'm a uh, uh, human, is that what <laughs> right? The other thing to use it is, let's say that we're working on something, all right, and you're just like, I get it. <laughs> This makes perfect sense, and it's just connected, and I've just made this huge connection in my head, and this is awesome. And then we do Mirabile! And when one person does it, every single other person does it. And what usually happens in a class of not in one, especially with a lot of freshman boys, they go, You mean anytime I do this, everybody else has to do this? Oh boy. <laughs> yep. And then they go, Mirabile! <laughs> <laughs> and then they do it again and again and again, and you just let them until another student goes, <laughs> and that's done. But the beautiful thing about it is you do it if they're making a mistake, or you do it, you know, if you make a connection. So when somebody throws them a rob away, who knows? Who knows whether it's like awesome or oops? Or sometimes it becomes synonymous. Awesome and oops. That's okay. All right. If it's an awesome oops, that's fine. All right. Let's see. Uh, we're only going to do two more of these, and then I promise we'll get into the Latin Latin. All right. So <clears throat> this is slowly, like slow down, like please slow your roll. I'm about to cry. All right. So a lot of the time, let's say that I'm talking really, really fast, and you want me to slow down. All you got to do is make that sign good slowly. No matter which hand. Nope. Okay. Never matters which hand, just do whichever one is comfortable for you. And then, <clears throat> the other one we're going to do today is louder. Can anyone guess what the sign for louder is? <laughs> like, I can't hear you, please speak louder. Right? <clears throat> so hopefully that won't be an issue, but hey, you never know. <laughs> Alright, I, I tend to be pretty loud, in which case you might want me to get <sighs> Which is actually a sign language. It's great. <laughs> Alright, so, let's do a little bit of review, and then we're going to do Latin. <clears throat> so, show me copycat. Okay. Show me, I don't understand. Okay. Distraction. Full. Somewhere in here, good. How about Mirabile? Mirabile. Oh, you guys are like a first block class, okay. <laughs> Slowly. Sorry. <laughs> and louder. Louder. Good. Alright. Any questions before we start the Latin extravaganza? <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, uh, nervous and <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so, a lot of the time, the way that I teach in Latin is I just jump in. All Latin, all sign language. Alright. And a lot of the time, what happens is, is the kids go, What does that mean? And I just keep speaking. <laughs> and then they go, what does that mean? <laughs> and someone else goes, I don't know. <laughs> All right. It's going to be a little weird at first because the way that I'm teaching, especially this year, is more towards language acquisition. So your brain is supposed to go, what does that mean? That means that you're learning. All right. You're that means that is stoning it. Yes. <laughs> we're is that is stoning it. That's exactly it. Best verb ever. <laughs> That's right. All right. And so it's making your brain think and try to find the material. That doesn't mean don't ask questions, but if you ask me, what does that mean? All right, now what does that mean? I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> All right, with love, with lots and lots of love, I'm going to ignore you. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. So, and by the way, I will send out the vocab that we go over in an email. All right, and if, how many of you would be interested in Optional, not graded, I will put a key online. Because <laughs> I ain't grading it. A couple of you? I do. Okay. Yeah. Is that just more homework, please? I don't have it. Okay. I want to learn lots. I have a secret language with my daughter that my other daughter doesn't understand. What would it mean? Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> just a little bit. Discipulus. 
Lewis. Erst <coughs> das Skipuba.
Do, but I don't know how to say it. There's none of those up there to say it again. <laughs> again. Again. So For, do it again. As in, like, do it again. Put a, a cookie in my hand again. Mm -hmm. And again. <laughs> and again. Right? Do it again? Yes, the feminine no. things just are the way they are, which is hard to explain to a whole class of high school. Like, no, there has to be a reason. <laughs> really? <laughs> explain it to me. All right. <clears throat> Demonstra me, show me. Demonstra me, he, we are. Puer. Puella. Feinina. Girl student. Girl student. Girl student. 
questions that I just get. Oh wait, that's like discipline. Oh, like a disciple. Disciple. That's yeah. what like disciple. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Mind blown. It's a plus. And it's a plus. Yes. Yeah. Like disciple. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, and that's exactly what the students do. The students go, I know it. <laughs> but I want to make sure that I know it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I won't always give you the answer. Because if you see what I just did here, I didn't tell you a single one of these words meant. Mm-hmm. Not a one. You told you what these words meant. I just sit here and looked pretty. <laughs> What if we all agreed that, that was one was read and one was write? <laughs> Would you have then told us? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> That's how language acquisition works. We might still be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Hmm. Well, quiz asked. Too much caffeine. Quiz asked. <laughs> Mater. Mater. 
Esne Pater? Minime. Non est. Pater. Est. Filius. Filius. Puer? Filius. saying when you say that are you saying she's the mother of the girl or is you are you just saying mother Yeah. You hear that? I said that. 
Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> Phileus. What is Philia? Philia. Very good. Phileus. Philia. She's like, I can see her. She's like, I wish I were in this class. You know, Carol runs pretty nice kid. Question. You have that. I'm, 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 trying to, I'm trying to write it off in my head. I'm, just give me a second. Okay. <laughs> we have a technique for that. It's called take nine, which just means give me nine seconds. <laughs> Let me think. Back off, woman. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got it. All right. about sign language is if it's above the eyes on your face, mm -hmm. it's usually a dude. Mm -hmm. It's usually a dude, that's <laughs> right. And if it's below your eyes on your face, it's usually feminine. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, that was, that's feminine. Femina. 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 Femina